the front page. I'm Len Topic and welcome to Press Release here on Press TV, where we find the facts, kill the spin and tell it like it is about the stories making the headlines. <laughs> this week we'll be looking at tales all around the world and sorting out the reality from the rubbish. First a roundup of this week's news with the stories that cause more questions than answers. We'll look at Donald Trump's latest good news. He got his man into a top justice job in America, even though others have called for Brett Kavanaugh himself to face justice. And what about the curious case of Jamal Khashoggi? He went missing in a Saudi consulate and nobody's seen him since. And if you were in a job which you loved and paid you hundreds of thousands of dollars, not for very much, would you quit? We take a look at the mysterious missing UN ambassador for the United States of America. And as usual, I'll make some predictions about what could happen in the week ahead, as long as the lunatics keep running the global asylum. What a week, what a set of stories, what a world. Let's get down to the details and separate the political friction from the political fiction. Over in America, the President of the United States of America, yes, that's still Donald Trump, by the way, scored a glorious victory over his opponents in the Democrat Party. Almost all the President's men and some women backed controversial Supreme Court candidate Brett Kavanaugh. Now, Mr. Kavanaugh has been accused of getting into hot water with a lady who herself has accused him of sexual assault. The thing is, all this is supposed to have happened 36 years ago, and so far, nobody's been able to prove anything. So it's been down to his word against hers, and it looks like he's won. But oh, it was so close. Blustering Brett scraped in with a majority of 50 votes to 48. That's a majority of two, and an outcome some consider too hot to handle for an already contentious presidency. All the same, Donald Trump's got his man into that top justice job for life. But the shouting continues, with others saying Kavanaugh himself should be in front of the courts for what happened way back then. In America, even though others have called for him to face justice, what happens next? Well, this is when the real fireworks begin. As crafty Kavanaugh settles into his new job, you can bet your bottom US dollar there'll be no end to the accusations as they fly in his general direction. While his job will be to decide if others are guilty, there's no doubt he'll spend plenty of time trying to say he's innocent. Ladies and gentlemen, take your seats for the Brett Kavanaugh Show. It's going to be a humdinger. Who stole Jamal Khashoggi? Was he murdered? And if so, was it the Saudis? One Republican senator says yes to both. There is no question the Saudis did this, claims Senate Foreign Relations Chairman Bob Corker. He told CNN that Intel points directly to Saudi Arabia for the disappearance of Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi. Corker's comments highlight a growing tension between Congress, which is calling for action on Khashoggi and the White House. And what is the White House actually doing? Absolutely nothing. After telling the world they care about human rights, apparently poor old Jamal hasn't got any. Why the silence? What could possibly be causing Daring Don to keep quiet? President Donald Trump has indicated he is aware of Saudi responsibility, but signaled that he's unwilling to take any action. But hold on, aren't they selling millions of dollars worth of arms to the kingdom? Oh, and then there's the small matter of the billions of barrels of oil, which Saudi just happens to have underground. It seems that the White House just wishes the whole problem would quietly go away. Haley is America's greatest asset in the United Nations. Oops, let me say that again. Nikki Haley was America's greatest asset in the UN. In a shock move, Ms. Haley has resigned as American ambassador to the UN, and nobody seems to know why. In a press conference which confused the nation and the world, Haley sat with Donald Trump and said how everything is great. But if that's true, why did she quit? Enter the conspiracy theorists. Maybe she knows too much about what Donald Trump has been up to. Perhaps she knows that Americans never went to the moon. Or does she know who shot JFK? Whatever the reason, her shock departure, a woman in high office at a sensitive time for the Trump administration, is hardly good news. 
The most suspicious thing is that, in a break from tradition, Donald Trump hasn't attacked her for leaving. Why not? What hasn't she got that the other resigners have got? Is it because she's a woman? Would Trump have slammed her if she was a man? Could this be sexual discrimination gone crazy? Everyone who resigns under the Trump administration deserves to be attacked by the president. Nikki Haley has every right to say, me too. And as usual, I'll make some predictions about what could happen in the week ahead. Firstly, I predict that America's great president, Donald Trump, will say at least one thing that gets him in the news. In fact, if he doesn't get in the news, that would be the news. Second, the chances of more problems over the UK's plans to leave the European Union are 100%. Thirdly, I predict it will rain in England, and the Brexit supporters will blame Brussels for that. And if it doesn't rain, well, why has Brussels stolen our right to British weather? And finally, I predict that Donald Trump will continue to disrespect Nikki Haley, the former American ambassador to the United Nations, by not attacking her. If it carries on like this, she could have a good chance of successfully suing the United States president for sexual discrimination on the basis that she is the only woman to whom desperate Don has shown intense and uninvited courtesy. I'm sure Melania will be pretty surprised too. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching and join me for the next time for Press Release, the show that takes the political fiction out of the political friction. Hold the front page. But don't trust it, trust me.